E3 2018 is just under two months away, and this year's event looks to be the biggest. Microsoft has described their event as the biggest ever. CD Projekt Red is said to be finally unveiling a new trailer for Cyberpunk 2077. Rocksteady Games should finally open up on their next game, following the Arkham franchise. Sony will be unveiling gameplay of The Last of Us Part 2. Nintendo hopefully will give new info on Metroid Prime 4 and Super Smash Bros. Ubisoft probably reveals a new Splinter Cell game. Electronic Arts will show off Battlefield 5 and Anthem, and then we have Bethesda. This year's Bethesda conference features a lot of question marks, with fans wondering if it will be an improvement over last year's short disappointment of a showcase. But so far, it's very interesting some of the decisions Bethesda has chosen here in early 2018. Something we haven't exactly seen from them in the past is announcing big things before E3. Like recently, the Elder Scrolls Online's latest expansion, the Summer Somerset Isles and Skyrim on PC were revealed, which in my eyes is an obvious sign that some big things will be unveiled at Bethesda's conference. Today we are going to be discussing some interesting new leaks regarding Bethesda's probable 2018 game Starfield, and some other info coming directly from Bethesda which points to a big reveal coming at this year's conference. So for those who have not followed along, Bethesda Game Studios has been heavily speculated since E3 2017 to be unveiling their next project at this year's event. We know that this new project will be a new IP based off of dozens of comments coming from Bethesda Game Studios head Todd Howard and Bethesda Softworks VP Pete Hines over the years. One specifically coming from Pete Hines who said late last year they, Bethesda Game Studios, didn't want to be the developer that was just Elder Scrolls Fallout, Elder Scrolls Fallout for the rest of their development careers. So even though a lot of clickbait articles and videos keep saying the Elder Scrolls 6 is coming, it's not for a very long time, something that we discussed in a separate video. We know two huge RPGs are coming beforehand, and the first is speculated to be a space RPG called Starfield, which originates from a mysterious trademark filed under Bethesda's parent company Zenimax. Outside of that, there's been a lot of fake leaks and questionable ones regarding this upcoming title. Right after Fallout 4's original reveal at E3 2015, a known leaker, Tidex, posted Posted hashtag Bethesda has a new IP in development. Release late 2017, space combat and planet exploration. Not playable yet, it's an action RPG. That was in 2015, and obviously development can take longer, but this does match up with what we all would expect Starfield to be. Anyway, let's fast forward to just the other day. A user posted on the Reset Era forums doubts about Starfield being a AAA game, thinking it may just be a mobile title. And what followed were some interesting comments coming from a few insiders. It's important to note Reset Era doesn't let users post nonsense. You usually have to have proof and a reputation when making claims. A lot of gaming journalists and insiders moderate this website, like Kotaku's Jason Schreier. Anyway, one of the users going by the username Potterson posted, no it's not, and it's coming this fall, so just wait for E3, in which one of the administrators followed that post up with the following. At this time, administrators cannot verify the contents of the quoted post made by Potterson and this thread are accurate. However, the user has shared information with us that suggests they could be in a position to know the information they claim in the post. As always, Reset Era members take full responsibility for what they post. Potterson would then be asked if he could share anything more by a member, in which he replied, nah sorry, not really an insider or press sneak fuck, just happened to know something, so I thought I'd share. I can't say more yet. Then another insider on the forums, Benji, jumped in when another member posted, if what Potterson said is true, that surprises me a bit. A brand new IP after only three years. Was there a small team that's been working on it for longer than that? Benji replied saying Starfield has been in pre-production for a very long time, since at least 2013. I will say it's most interesting the admin communicated that Potterson is someone who is in a position to know these details, and that alone certainly gives this leak some validity. Now a release date this fall is not shocking as that's Bethesda's typical short announcement to release style with just around 5-6 to six months, and if this is true I'm sure they have to be aiming for mid to late November, avoiding the giant 
that is Red Dead Redemption 2 in late October, which every publisher certainly seems very nervous about, but right now everything is pointing to a reveal at E3 2018. Besides just this leak, Bethesda Softworks VP Pete Hines has been very active hyping up this year's E3 event. Recently he spoke to Dual Shockers, in which he said the following, I couldn't give you any guesses as to what we're going to announce and when those games will be out, but I will say we have a lot of new stuff to talk about at E3. Whether or not folks realize it, this is the hell on earth time for us with E3. We are in the midst of so much planning and work for all that content, but I'm really excited. I think we have a lot of stuff that folks are going to like. To my earlier comment, it's going to be a big mix of stuff that's all over the place. It's not going to be like all one kind of game or genre. It's going to be a lot of stuff in a lot of different areas, and hopefully there's something in there for everybody. In a different interview at PAX East, Game Reactor spoke to Pete Hines, and this time he went a little more in depth with how they're approaching this year's E3 event, saying, We got some, we have some surprises in store. Uh, we're going to be talking about a healthy number of new games and, and new projects. Um, and uh, look, I, I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, we, we've been working on E3 for this year since, you know, September of last year. This, I'm already this is seven, eight months into working on E3, but um, I really like how it's coming along. I think there's going to be something in there for everyone, regardless of what you play on or what kind of games you're into. Um, and, you know, I hope, my biggest hope always is that we deliver on the promise of E3. So look, I have to say, that sounds like a very long time to prepare for E3, and it at least feels like we're indeed going to get some big announcements. What it looks like right now is based on the hell on earth remark, Doom 2 should at the very least be teased. Prey DLC has already been confirmed, a Fallout spinoff or remaster has to be on the table when you consider how profitable Fallout 4 has been. From a business point of view, this franchise staying quiet for any longer would not make any sense. I've said it before, a Fallout Online probably makes the most sense, especially since Bethesda was so aggressive with getting that license and looking at the success of Elder Scrolls Online and the games as a service model that Bethesda certainly does like right now, I would not be surprised if that does become a reality. Does that happen this year? I'm not quite sure, but the big game that will take up most of this conference for sure is Starfield. Bethesda knows that they cannot have a conference like last year. Pete Hines' comments are exciting, but I seriously wonder, outside of Starfield and Doom 2, if there will be anything else huge announced. But anyway guys, what do you expect from Bethesda's E3 conference this year? Do you think there's going to be anything shocking coming? Let me know your predictions in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any videos, and I'll see you later.